Hey everybody, it's your old pal Larry, the horror movie dick, and I'm back with a movie review. Today we're going to dig into Ghosts of War from writer-director Eric Brass. Not Brast. Brass. Your synopsis. I just sprayed. It's World War II, and a platoon of soldiers are ordered to defend a French chateau from the Nazis. Once they're there, they realize there may also be a supernatural presence guarding the house. And shit gets fucking weird. You gotta watch it. Well, what did I like about this movie? A super slick production. And on top of that, it's a World War II ghost story. Old Larry grew up on uh, Weird War Tales comic book. Uh, love that shit. Traveled with me throughout my life, and I also love fucking horror movies that are war-based and preferably ghost stories, supernatural. I love that shit. Like Death Watch. Like The Bunker. Like outpost not part three and frankenstein's army i almost forgot that the list goes on but i love all that shit so this movie uh you know started off on the right foot for me what else did i love man the cast in this fucking movie is fucking brilliant a young cast of fucking actors all of them fucking great but uh, the standout, I'm fucking, I've seen this dude before. He's a child actor, Kyle Gallner. Uh, he was in uh, the, the Haunting in Connecticut, Jennifer's Body. But, uh, I mean, he goes way back, T mostly TV and shit. But, uh, man, can this kid fucking act really fucking good. Uh, he's got some fucking scenes. I was blown away. I was really blown away. Uh, what else did I like? They did a decent amount of tension building. Uh, really creepy fucking atmosphere. A creepy tone. Some good scares. Uh, they went, we'll get back to it. What did I not like? Here we go. Well, one thing, they, uh, they show the ghosts a lot. Oh, fuck, did I just spoil it? Well, it's Ghosts of War. <laughs> what the fuck? They show the ghosts a lot. I don't prefer that. Like, right up in your fucking face. Every detail. It's better when it's done subtly. They don't do it subtly at all. After a certain point. Um, but there are, like, there is a little bit of a build up to it. But the worst defense of all. This film fucking dog babies. Now, if you don't know that, we're going way back with the fucking monster movie app. When I did written reviews and I had an app and shit. Way back when. Uh, do the dog baby's phrase came about because of a movie called Blood Glacier. Spoiler alert. At the end, a fucking dude's wife gives fucking birth to a dog baby. <laughs> that's <laughs> like half, half his favorite beloved dog that dies. And uh, like half his fucking wife. I think that's how it goes down. But it's a good fucking movie up until that point. The ending ruins the whole fucking thing. Now you're up to speed. That's what dog baby means. So let's get to my final review. If we could. Would I recommend you watch this? This is a fucking tough no. Because of fucking Kyle Gallner and the rest of the cast. Really fucking great. But would I, recommend, would I buy this when it fucking comes out? Fuck no. And because of this, I'm giving it the certified dog baby seal of disapproval. Um, fucking pretty cool movie. The ending is fucking stupid. It destroyed everything that fucking, all the cool parts that preceded it. And puts a big fucking stain on these poor fucking actors and all the fucking great work they did. The story is fucking stupid in the end. And it ruins the whole fucking movie. Well, hey, everybody, that's your fucking review. And uh, I'm fucking Larry. And we're fucking, what else do I say? Until I see all of you motherfuckers again next time, as always, get the fuck out of my house. Bye.